Hi and welcome back to Digital Toolcase and in this new AI Tools breaking news video for April 2024 and as you can see here on my screen in this video I will talk about Search Graph, Agility Writer, Google Gemini Pro 1.5, U.com the Pro version and a little new thing for OpenAI. So let's dive in and if you like this kind of content as always hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. First of all let's talk about Search Graph because there is an interesting new feature. As always you can find the link in the description if you like Search Graph and if you want you can also watch for my previous videos about it. These are the pricing plans and as always this 36 month plan is the absolute best when we talk about the money you spend. Anyway as you can see here the new feature is called custom commands so you can have more control over your content using writing prompts and instruction personalized to your needs. And this is quite useful I will say this is the search graph AI writer but in order to use these custom commands you need to go into this account settings section. Here you have your custom commands controls and as you can see here you can generate your custom commands templates. The first thing you need to do is to create your commands. I already made something so I can show you very quickly how this is done. For example I saved these right without fluff. This is the name you can give to your commands and this is just one example. Use a conversational human-like but concise writing style without fluff, without repeating concepts and don't use common AI words for example in conclusion, in addition, furthermore and so on. Once you create your custom commands you need to save it or update it if you edit these commands but uh, I made another one this is the example uh, use primary keywords variants so use primary keywords variants in the subheadings titles and make them concise so how you can use these uh, custom commands here you can create templates let's say I want to generate a test template I can give for each part of my article a specific custom command. So for intro I can use write without fluff, for subheadings I can use use primary keywords variants and I can choose if I want to use a specific commands for the other parts of this article. You can generate uh, uh, how many commands you want so I can also use uh, these uh, write without fluff in the conclusion if I want uh, and then you can save your template uh, in this case I just call it test save template I can see my saved templates here I only have this test one I can edit or remove if I want now in the article generation part uh, I just need to include my target keyword and compile all the fields I need and then create a document. Ok once the SERP gets analyzed I'm in this uh, generate outline section and here is where I can choose to use or not to use custom commands. As you can see here I have uh, this switch so I can switch off custom commands or switch them on and choose my template. Here is my test template and generate my outline. This is my outline preview and again here before writing the article I can review my custom command for each section. I have uh, this selector so custom command for the introduction is write without fluff, I can change it if I want and then I have my other custom commands here in these different sections. Now is where I can start writing my article. And here it is, this is my article on how to cook pizza, so this is my introduction. You can stop the video if you want. I don't want this video to be too long, so I will scroll quite quickly just to show you how this article is. Uh, I have uh, some uh, H2s and H3s so my subheadings should have some uh, keyword variants. Uh, in this case I have a pizza stone magic. We can consider this a variant of how to cook pizza or perfect pizza tips. 
I also have uh, my no fluff writing style for the introduction and the conclusion. If you read here, we don't have any in conclusion, in addition or similar common AI words in this case, so custom commands seem to work uh, pretty well. If you want, you can try search graph, uh, maybe for one month. If you are not sure if you like it, you have a 30 day money back guarantee. And if you like it, this 36 months plan, it's absolutely the best value for you. And now it's time for Agility Writer, another one of my favorite AI writing tools. I already made many videos where I talk about Agility Writer. I also have a special discount for you if you want. You can find it in the description. There is a code you can use when you purchase one of these three plans, the basic, the standard and the pro. So the first set of new updates for Agility Writer is this EEAT tool. Use our EEAT bio generator to create compelling about pages, author and company bios, boosting your site trustworthiness. The new authorship future assign author profiles to projects and contribute to the authenticity and this SEO content upgrade improved entity richness and hyphenim variety boost content quality for better SEO. And then now you can also use the Cloud Opus AI model in Agility Writer. Just to show you very quickly where this EEAT biogenerator is, it's in the tools section. Here is where you can generate your bio and you can see here cost one to five AW tokens, Agility Writer tokens. You need to have some free Agility Writer tokens in order to use this tool. I don't really know how you can earn these free tokens, but subscribe to Agility Writer. You can give it a try for just one dollar and I suppose you will like it. Here is the advanced mode article generator, but this applies to all the modes you can find here to generate articles. You now can use even Claude 3 Sonnet. It's in the beta stage and Claude 3 Opus. I know many people are curious about these new Claude 3 AI models. So in another Facebook post, uh, we have a comparison between GPT-4 Turbo and Cloud Opus, and we have a link here below with two different articles made with different AI models. So this is the GPT-4 one. I will scroll this article, so if you want, you can stop the video and read it by yourself. It's a pretty long article. So you can see the differences between GPT-4 Turbo and uh, Cloud3 uh, Opus, and you can decide whatever you like the most. We have the conclusion here, the FAQs, and this is the GPT-4 one. This is the same article on the same topic with the same keyword, but uh, this is the Cloud3 Opus version. Again, if you want, you can stop the video and read it by yourself and decide if you like more the GPT-4 version or the Cloud3 version. I made some little experiments and I find Cloud3 is very good for some kind of topics, philosophic topics and so on but uh, many tasks uh, are way better made with uh, GPT-4, in my opinion. So these are the new updates uh, from Agility Writer. Again, if you want, you can try it for just one dollar. You can find the link in the description. And if you want to purchase one of these free plans, I have a special discount code for you in the description. Now let's talk about U.com, the pro version. I made a specific video for this multi AI model chat and web search some weeks ago. You can find it here on my channel. The news about U.com Pro is this new 
DBRX AI model instruct. This is an open source AI model. And here in this multi model selector, now you also have this DBRX instruct other than GPT 4. GPT-4 Turbo, Claude 3, Sonnet Opus and Haiku, Gemini Pro and uh, Zephyr AI model. If you want, you can use my link and you can have a one free month for you.com, the pro version. And there is another interesting uh, new update because now they introduced the uh, document upload also for these uh, multi AI model selector. If you watched my previous video here with the GPT-4 and GPT-4 Turbo and Claude, you were not able to upload and interact with documents. This option was only available for the smart, the basic smart model and the genius model. But now you can also interact with the documents uh, with the GPT-4, with Claude 3, with Gemini Pro and all these uh, AI models. This is another interesting news. And again, if you are curious to try these models, GPT-4, the Turbo, the Claude 3 and so on, you can do it for free for one month. Just use my link. There is no need for the code anymore. So you just need to click on my link in the description. I don't really know uh, how these uh, DBRX uh, AI model works, uh, but I found some specifics here on the Hugging Face site. So you can even try it for free on Hugging Face. Uh, here you can use it, interact with the documents. Uh, we have some examples. So let's just uh, click on this ultimate meal plan just to show you how this DBRX AI model works. It's only a text based model, so no images or other kind of outputs. And here it is. This is the output when using this AI model. But uh, I have to say this uh, U.com, the pro version is uh, continuously updating and adding new features as the upload the documents and interact with the documents with all these AI models. So, so this is a good reason to try it for free. The pro version costs $20 monthly or $15 monthly if you purchase one year. But again, by using my link, you can have it for free for the first month. And if you don't like it, you can cancel the plan whenever you want. Now it's time to talk about uh, Google Gemini 1.5 Pro, uh, the next generation model from uh, Google. They released the access to try this uh, Gemini 1.5 Pro in the Google AI Studio, but uh, it's not available everywhere. For example, here in Italy, I'm not able to reach the Google AI Studio by default, so I need to use the uh, Opera browser where a VPN is included. And so I can show you very quickly how you can access and use this Google AI Studio. Just search on Google for Google AI Studio, you will find the link to um, reach this page. It's uh, aistudio.google.com. And here is where you can uh, use the Gemini 1.5 Pro AI model. As you can see, you can also switch to the Gemini 1.0 Pro, but the 1.5 is the latest version. You have some settings. And again, many people are curious about this new Google AI model because you have, as you can see here, 1 million tokens context. You can interact with images, you can interact with videos, you can interact with different files, and you can chat as always with this Gemini 1.5 Pro version. You also have this library section here. You can generate chat prompts, uh, different files and so on. And just to give you a quick example, I uploaded an image here with this image button and I can ask AI, can you tell me what you see in this image? The model is working. 
This image shows a harbor with colorful buildings and both so the buildings are painted in bright colors such as pink, green and blue and so on. As you can see it's correct. Let's try to ask for something else and here you can see the tokens I use for this chat. Let me try to ask can you identify which place is this? It's saying this is Gustavia, the main town of the French Caribbean island of Saint Barts. This is not correct because because this is a place in the British Virgin Islands. Uh, let me try to ask, are you sure it's a place in the British Virgin Islands? And now it's saying uh, you are correct. Uh, the image shows the arbor in Road Town, Tortola, British Virgin Islands. But it was not able to identify this place in the first place. But obviously we know these uh, AI models are not perfect. But uh, here you can play, you can try this 1.5 Pro model for free by using the Google AI Studio. And now it's time to talk about OpenAI because I found this interesting blog article on the OpenAI blog section navigating the challenges and opportunities of synthetic voices. There is no official cloning voice tool as of today, as far as I know, for OpenAI, but they are starting to work on this task and we have some examples in this OpenAI blog post. So in this example, we have a reference audio and an AI generated audio with a different styles in this case. So this is the reference audio in English. Force is a push or pull that can make an object move, stop or change direction. Imagine you're riding a bike down a hill. First, the push you give off the ground is the force that gets you going. And then uh, this is the AI generated audio by cloning the uh, first voice. Some of the most amazing habitats on Earth are found in the rainforest. A rainforest is a place with a lot of precipitation and it has many kinds of animals, trees and other plants. Not bad at all as a voice cloning. We have a reading style. This story has been told and retold for thousands of years. What is the central message that it is teaching? And then uh, let's hear for this math style. Let's make the parts the same by adding one to three. Okay, and this is the first example, but we have another one here with these reference audio. Friendship is a universal treasure. It brings joy, support and laughter into our lives no matter where we are in the world. True friends stand by us through thick and thin, sharing our joys and easing our sorrows. Let's celebrate the bonds of friendship that connect us all across every language and culture. And in this case, we have some uh, voice translations. So this is the Spanish version of this uh, exact reference audio. La amistad es un tesoro universal. Aporta alegría, apoyo y risas a nuestras vidas sin importar donde estemos en el mundo. Los verdaderos amigos... There is a slightly uh, English pronunciation in this uh, Spanish version, but I quite like uh, the voice cloning quality. Let's hear the German one. Freundschaft ist ein universeller Schatz. Sie bringt Freude, Unterstützung und Lachen in unser Leben, egal wo auf der Welt wir uns befinden. And now the French one. L'amitié est un trésor universel. D'où que nous venons, elle apporte joie, soutien et rire dans nos vies. I suppose they will soon release a very good voice cloning service and voice translating service or a specific AI model for these tasks. And this is really interesting because they are also working on this task. From AI, we already know there are very good services for this. Uh, my favorite uh, is uh, Eleven Labs. Uh, I think as of today, this is the best uh, voice AI generation and voice cloning service. Uh, you obviously can find the link in the description if you want to try it. And you can even have a completely free plan uh, with Eleven Labs, uh, a forever free plan, obviously with some limits. So I suggest you to try it uh, if you like the AI voices idea and then we will wait for the OpenAI one. And that's it for this AI Tools breaking news uh, 
quite a long video for April 2024. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you found something interesting. If so, click on the like button, subscribe to my channel. You can click here and watch for some of my previous content on the channel. Thank you very much for being here and I'll see you soon in the next video.